What's up, my single chats and Call of Duty refugees? How y'all doing, my brothers? How y'all doing, man? You do not have to change your or flip your phone around. I got you with that, okay? But today, we got the big homie, Captain Canada. And let me tell you one thing about the homie, Captain Canada. He does not like that blame truth retweet helmet. And today, he's going to be talking about why X Define is going to fail. We're going to hear the arguments. We're going to get right into it. We also got the PlayStation 6 leaking out, man. We, we aren't even getting any games. <laughs> And we got PlayStation 6 leaking out, PS5 Pro leaking out, the next-gen Xbox. Like and subscribe, and let's hear the big brain arguments. Roll it. And uh, X Defiant news has come out. I don't know if you've seen it. I've seen it. But X Defiant is officially, according to some data leaking, some data mining, and some quarterly conversations that Ubisoft was having with their investors, that for sure X Defiant will be dropping. Drum roll, please. For sure. Within 60 days of you guys watching this video, which would be... 60 days is two weeks. At this point, bro, like, why even call it, like, two weeks? Call it now, bro. It's releasing now, bro. Before the end of March, and we are already in the uh, beginning end of uh, February. And I see a lot of yeah, people saying that, well, I guess before Modern Warfare 3 dropped, the hype was really huge. They thought the mm -hmm. X Defiant should have uh, released then, but due to some technical difficulties and issues they were having over at you. And, and like, what are the odds? Like, this time they're not going to have, uh, <laughs> like, another technical issue. And I want to know, like, how many of you guys are actually looking forward to X Defiant? One in the chat if you're, like, a Call of Duty refugee and you are looking for this game. Two if you're not. And truly, though, I want this game to succeed. I Guys, I know you know this as well but it's gonna be such a slap on my face and your face and all the the, the call of duty refugee face right that <laughs> that are disappointed with call of duty and so that skill based match is gonna be removed because apparently the fact here, here that we're hearing is that X Define is not going to have skill based matchmaking and if this game fails, it's Joel where Activision is going to be out there doing helicopters with their release. They're going to be catching those big W's and they're going to be like uh, friendly UAV online. They're going to be selling those friendly UAV online, those BBC bundles. This game must not fail though. Ubisoft and Mark Rubin was having with X Define. They were unable to release the game, so that's why we are looking at a BI the end of March release. But, but what if their BBC gets leaked out and they delay the game? Day for X Define. People were hoping that X Define could come in and swoop away a large player base uh, from Call of Duty right now that seems to be struggling. And people have also been saying that maybe X Define missed that window of opportunity of the hype that they had from the beta. That that, that part I agree though. That part I agree. If had it been like this game came out last year, it would have had a lot more hype because right now i'm not sure what it is because you guys let me show you this okay and we gotta talk about the playstation 6 and get ready like there's like some big brain i want to hear the big brain arguments we're gonna get to that so stick around for that let me show you some kishish but look at that hype is gone one guy said i'll believe it when i see it tbh no one cares anymore ends up getting 13 replies i don't even want to look at it because it's just toxic gamers you know what i'm saying uh, you're you're not gonna defeat call of duty i promise you then we have a guy says this i saw that right yeah this one took too long modern warfare 3 is the call of duty most people is that call of duty that most people have been wanting myself included yeah guys uh, what's your thoughts on that one most people wanted modern warfare 3 right and i truly believe that we in a gaming depression right now that they didn't drop sooner because like i said they had technical difficulties and i'm unable to release earlier or late 2023 early 2024 and now they think the hype is gone and x define is going to release and people are just going to let it be you know slide away and i think uh, but but here's the thing right like yeah the, the best time was to reveal it or release it like last year but the second best time to release it is right now because if they drop it after call of duty 2024 it is joe over okay they gotta otherwise. do it now but at the same time i do think x defined as the tell this video says will not be able to you know get any traction nor will it be able yeah. to what what to replace call of duty and nor will it be the game that everyone is hoping it to be and i'll give you some reasons as of that but first of all Call of Duty right now is down pretty bad by the numbers, by the player count, as well as by the, uh, I guess, hype on social media. The views for Call of Duty YouTubers are oh, pretty dismal. It's pretty hard to it's get bad, some yeah. decent views on a Call of Duty video, even if... Even, even, like, complaining videos nowadays are not getting views at all. It's like, it used to be a time when, you know, Sega's were, like, complaining about the game and getting, like, millions and millions of views, but now it's like, nobody cares. I don't know what's worse, like... 
playing the game, complaining about it, or not playing the game, and just completely not... <laughs> You feel sick as don't even give a damn about this game, which is just sad, and I truly believe we are in a gaming depression uh, right now. Like, check this out, uh, like, PlayStation 6 got leaked out, guys. Uh, it's gonna be the most powerful console next gen, it's claimed. Sony's tripling down on ray tracing, and yeah, that's cool and all. Like, I, do, I, I, wanna, I wanna see, like, new consoles, yeah. PS5 Pro apparently coming out this year. The next gen Xbox allegedly gonna be cloud streaming only. <laughs> It's claimed it's coming out, the next-gen Xbox coming out in 2026, PS5 uh, Pro coming out by the end of this year, and devs are getting, like, NDAs, dev kits being sent out. It, it's kind of wild, like, these are the re uh, the reports. So, the problem isn't that these, the problem is not the consoles. Yeah, the consoles are good. Xbox, next-gen Xbox coming out in 2026, whether it's gonna be streaming only or not, we're gonna find out. But, like, dog, where are the games? Where are the games? The FPS scene is so dry. The finals is a decent game. Like, I wouldn't say it's, like, the S-tier or low-tier. Subjectively, it can be your S-tier, but objectively, it's, like, it's a pretty decent game, right? It's not the worst. Uh, I would say it's, like, more fun than Call of Duty. I played it initially, didn't like it, played it again, didn't like it, played it again, didn't like it, but then I gave it a chance over and over, and I'm like, this. This shies is actually pretty good, and I'm loving it right now. X to find. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first played it, I didn't like it, and after that, I never really touched it because it's. I, 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 you cannot play it right now, right? But eventually, it's gonna come out like we're hearing, and I'm gonna give it another shot and another shot. And truly, as somebody that did not like it in the very beginning, I want this game to succeed because, dog, like, imagine this, right? They are like, okay, no, no skill based match again. You know, yeah, you know, this, yeah, right? Like, no skill based match again. And everybody's like, everybody's like hyping it up, everybody's saucing it up, everybody thinks that it's gonna be the, the, the best thing ever. And it comes out and it's like, nobody playing it. I don't wanna see that though, because that's when like heli uh, Activision is gonna do helicopters with their release, bro. If it is freaking hot shit, people just aren't really interested right now, and hating on Call of Duty has run its course. A lot of people out yeah. here just seem to wanna copy the old uh, OG grandfather himself, who was the originator of being negative towards Call of Duty. That would be eight thoughts. I'm the ghost of Vader. But a lot of people now just jumped on that original 15 year ago tip that he was rocking. And you know, people just hate on Call of Duty now. It's very popular, but it's not really you know gaining any traction anywhere for call of duty whether you're negative or positive yeah i'm just positive a lot of these call of duty youtubers are gay <laughs> but what i was trying to say is that you know call of duty is at a pretty low point right now and man it truly is sad right like damn son who would have thought that i believe like even during like infinite warfare Call of Duty wasn't, yeah, it was down bad, but it wasn't this down bad, though. Like, I, yeah, right now, the streets are completely dead, completely empty. Nobody gives a damn. And uh, right after, and even for GTA 6, it's like, uh, because now that we have the trailer, yeah, everybody's like, yeah, bro, it's like next year. Okay, till next year, I'm going to hibernate myself. I don't care about GTA 6. Nobody cares about GTA 6 no more for at least now, now, now. Obviously, people love and people care. I care. You care. We all care. We all are waiting for GTA 6. But see, keyword waiting. And right now, it's like we in a big gaming depression right now. And x is, you know, releasing very soon here. And I think it has an opportunity to be very successful. But it, it won't. Has. And people are all what? hyped about the fact that it has no skill-based matchmaking. And that is one of the reasons why people are so excited. Like, and I feel your pain, brother. I feel your pain. It's hard out here for a pimp. Gaming in 2024, modern gaming, is it's pretty competitive. People take this shit way too serious. It's I like agree. a sport yeah. to them. And they, you know, gain a lot of, I guess, I don't know. There's a saying, you can remaster a game, but you cannot remaster the player. No excitement. They gain a lot of pride in being good in a video game now. And there seems to be a whole, like, you know, I guess, zeitgeist around being good. Yeah, Sekus believe that being like 10 KD in the game means that you have a BBC or a BWC. I, I do agree with that. The video game, bro, I'm dropping 30 bombs. Check out my YouTube video with that open face thumbnail like I'm sucking a BBC. Probably Drake's. <laughs> that guy's hog is huge. But I'm going to tell you right now, I want you to mark this video right now, dude. Mark it down. I'm not stepping over the line. People are going to play X Defiant and you're going to think, no skill based matchmaking. This won't be so sweaty. I will tell you that it will be at least if not more sweaty than call of duty and then my whole premise everything i've been saying about call of duty and how skill-based matchmaking really probably isn't the problem it's the community that plays the game that makes it sweaty and skill-based matchmaking really is okay now listen i do not 
100% disagree with this argument, but I disagree. Okay, I disagree. Now, uh, here's the thing, right? Like, what he's saying is not wrong. Like, let's be real. Sickers are playing the game like their life depends on it. Sickers don't even want to move in the games no more. Sickers uh, want to just, uh, you know, want to try hard. Like, their life depends on it. But I would like to believe that if X Defined, and it's like a big if, right? If X Defined becomes, like, really, really popular, and I really hope it does, because, like, listen, man, I want I want a good game. I want a, I want a game that everybody's loving it. Because the FPS scene is so dry. It's dry as hell. In fact, like, the entire gaming scene is kind of dry as hell. It, it always is, usually, around this time. So it's not, like, anything too out of the ordinary. But obviously, like, this time it's a bit different. Because no game is hitting it. But if this game becomes popular, we're gonna have a lot of new players, noobs, and we're gonna have a lot of, like, pros. So it's gonna balance... It, it, it out right and surely if you're a new player you're gonna learn the game you're gonna learn the ropes and eventually you're gonna get better and when you do get better the skill based matchmaking algorithm the uh, you know uh, social credit system is not gonna like uh cut your gains, right? It's like one of, skill-based matchmaking is basically one of those things, right? Like, you go work out <laughs> at a gym, you're told that you're gonna become stronger, you're gonna have more energy, but skill-based matchmaking looks at your gains, it's like, nah, bro, we gotta cut your gains right now, we gotta cut your gains, and you become weaker. It's, this game, allegedly, that's what they're re saying, it's not gonna do anything, it's good, but it's a big maybe type of situation. I hope it attracts a lot of new people too, though. It's actually what's causing you to not have fun, it's just the community of a bunch of TTV wannabe MLG cheaters, hackers, a bunch of dweeb yeah. ass nerds who play Call of Duty like their life depended on it. That's and, and cheaters and hackers and all that crap is not going anywhere. Um, especially for like multiplayer games, especially for FPS games. Yeah, I I mean I. I hope, I hope like it turn we, we get a different scenario, but but like uh, let's be real, bro. Like <laughs> we're gonna have a whole lot of people doing that. <laughs> They're gonna be cheating in this game and shies like that, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad though. But but it's probably gonna be too bad if that makes it's sense. It's what's ruining it, and you're gonna see that. I tell you, mark it right now, dude. I'm not stepping over the line. There's no skill based matchmaking. This is, doesn't exist in X Defiant in the public lobbies. And I yeah. will tell you right now that you're gonna experience the exact same way you experience Call of Duty. You're gonna have a bunch of dudes Dang. sliding around, doing the cheapest possible shit, playing like their life depended on it, and they're gonna play it way too. Toxic gamers! Damn hard and sweaty for you, and it's gonna be just as obnoxious and just as annoying as playing Call of Duty with the thick skill based matchmaking, cuz. Okay, man is saying all of this that everybody's gonna play like their life depends on it while calling in a chopper gunner. I, I just can't, dog. Like, yeah, like. <laughs> That's how online gaming is now. People take it really serious. Yeah, and then people yeah, are going to be turned true. off by that. And you're going to be complaining about X Defiant saying, it yep. could be a really good game if it wasn't mm -hmm. so sweaty. Because every damn game is sweaty, bro. Every game is a joke. Now, when it to be honest, though, and realistically, I am 100% with, like, no skill based matchmaking. Okay, hand. Hand on top of this bottle of water. No skill based matchmaking, no social credit system algorithm. Absolutely. 100%, 100% <laughs> uh, okay? But after that, after no skill based matchmaking, we need some fundamental changes. We need some fundamental good content. Gameplay needs to be good. It needs to be a banger. Maps needs to be solid. And quite frankly, when I first played the beta, obviously it was just one map. I did not like the, the, the map. I didn't like the map uh, and the look of it. It just... Uh, but it's been over a year that I played it. And I'm willing to give it a second chance. I'm willing to give it a third chance. And I want this game to succeed. Even if I don't end up liking the game, even then I want this game to succeed. Because the entire reason, at least they give... It feels like, in the public, it feels like, that they give a shies about the game. No skill based management. Bro, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna be terrible if this game comes out and, you know, it, it, it does not succeed. Everybody's gonna be like, yeah, 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 you guys were asking for no skill based management, but you still. I don't wanna ever hear a scenario where, like, Sega's asked for no skill based management and <laughs> Sega's are not playing the game, right? It's gonna be one of those things. But. Let's be real though, no skill based matchmaking, that's a big point, that's a big portion of a game uh, being successful or not, yeah, no skill based matchmaking definitely gonna attract a lot of people, not denying that, but after that, it's about the good content too, it's about the weapons, uh, obviously it's not a story game, so I cannot say good story, it's a multiplayer FPS game, a lot of maps, good maps, quality matters, gameplay good, gunplay good, customization, good camos, 
kill streaks as well. Uh, I, I believe I, there was at one point the guy, uh, Mark Rubin, the director, the guy, the main guy that's working on Extra Fine, he did say they're thinking about it. I believe that's what I heard, but could be wrong. Talk. Comes to online. If Have you're you looking that? for a casual online experience, you're not going to find it. Those days for us old heads is gone. All right, give it up. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Just saying. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I'm just guessing. I'm surmising through my many years of making and being around on the internet and being involved in social media and yeah. gaming and online gaming. I'm just using my expertise through all the experiences I've gathered because, you know, age comes wisdom or something like that shit. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Is telling me that's what's going to happen. So mark it, dude. You can mark it down. X Defiant drops, no skill based matchmaking, Call of Duty's down. What are your thoughts on it? And recently we had 10 streamers getting caught cheating in broad daylight. Guys, click on this video on the screen. I mean, if you do, you're gonna regret it, but, but it's like gonna be quite entertaining. 10 top 10 streamers that you watch got caught cheating though. Check it out and I'll see you there.